Hello YouTubers, it's Chris and I have found something here that uh, this is something I would have never considered picking up or purchasing or buying uh, under any circumstances. It's a uh, it's a wood chipper um, shredder. I, I, you know, it's it's something, you know what it does, but uh, this is something I've never really needed before. But I was at the dump, the old trusty dump, and not being able to uh, resist the return policy of anything I have at the, I find at the dump. I picked up this machine, so I was looking at it, and it's, I don't know, I, I circled around it a couple of times, I said, do I really want to lug this thing into the truck? I said, well, what the heck, you know, I, I, I checked the, uh, I gave it a little pull, it's not seized, why not? But the thing that kind of grabbed my attention here is this, uh, this old cast iron Tecumseh engine. It's an 8 horsepower, it's an MTD, 8 horsepower chipper shredder, and uh, this thing, it's, it's in good shape, it's kind of dirty. But uh, I'll clean it all up, and I'll probably stop this this film after a little bit. I don't know, just the design of these these leaf shreds. It looks like something from a Dr. Seuss story. Uh, what is it? The Sneetches. Stuff goes in, stuff goes out. Um, but the other thing is kind of neat, though. So this is what I believe it's it's a 1991 uh, shredder, chipper, and it reminds me a little bit with this particular engine of the Briggs & Stratton 8 horsepower IC engine. So these are both cast iron engines. And the this is an HH80, which was heavy duty H80 uh, Tecumseh. And this is the 8 horsepower uh, industrial commercial engine on my old uh, uh, Atwater strong leaf blower. And Looks like, you know, so back in the late 80s, they, they came out with these more heavy-duty engines, and they eventually phased them back out. Uh, but I don't, know if, I don't know if this was the answer to Tecumseh's engine, or if this cast iron engine was the answer to this one. But they're both kind of cool in, in their own design. I mean, they have these, these large, heavy-duty um, air cleaners and long, thick intakes into the uh into the into the intake from the carburetors but anyways we'll put this guy away he's not the star of today's show um we'll get back to this uh the shredder here so i'm gonna um stop this right now and then and clean this thing up a little bit and uh make sure it works and then hopefully we can uh chop up some equipment and go through a little bit more chop up some equipment <laughs> chop up some junk some garbage and uh, we'll, we'll check out some of the features. Bye. Okay, so we have, um, I've, t I've taken this thing and I've cleaned it up. This old, old uh, MTD, eight horsepower Tecumseh, cast iron sleeve chipper shredder. It actually cleaned up rather nice, I think. Um, I put a new wheel on the side here. It's actually just an old wheel that I had. The other one had so much dry rot that uh, it just, it was, it was not holding air. And if we're going to do this, well, we'll make it as proper as possible. There are different sizes, but who cares? And uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, eventually I'm going to start it up here, but I'll just kind of go over a couple of the different features. This, um, apparently it has some kind of a, ba a bagger that you can put on here. Um, I don't have that uh, with me. It wasn't an accessory coming from the dump, but... If you look in here, you can kind of see the business end of things here. These are the, this is where the, the, uh, the choppers and the shredders reside. Um, let's go down here, and there is a thumb. And one of the features that's kind of neat about this is this, this hopper here. You can actually drop it down, drop this down, like so, and take a rake. And while it's running, you can kind of show you how it, how it works. And put that right back up. So if we come over here, I'm going to start this up now. You look down here. And I know I'm not a real purist. And I'm not going to try to start this thing just by using the choke and all the proper proceedings. Because I found it at the dump. And if it doesn't start, it makes for a tremendously boring video. But what I'm going to do is just spray a little bit of this business in here. And I use this all the time. And it saves me embarrassment. If 
it doesn't start. I'm gonna pop that right in there. I'm gonna put this back on here and start it up. Now these things, it's not like starting a lawnmower where you just give it a yank. It's like a real, as you'll see. So we're gonna give it full throttle. We're gonna give it a full choke. And with any luck, it should start right up. say for the better part of a used wheel we have a working chipper shredder and um, I think that's all I have to say about that for sale $300 and uh, thank you for watching and have a great day <laughs>